want to hear your uh, your thoughts on I've just got word that the superintendent of Palm Beach County uh, Dr. Arthur Johnson uh, has made it his business or uh, has deemed it uh, that he wants to close the school down June 30th of this year. Uh, I couldn't wait to get your idea, your thoughts on this. Uh, give us your thoughts, Bob. Well, thank you for the uh, for the question and the concern, uh, Brother Ali. Of course, most of the people uh, local and those around the country that I've been dealing with over the past three years are well aware of the fact that the uh, superintendent of schools here in Palm Beach County, as you say, uh, Dr. Art Johnson, uh, has been uh, wanting to close our school down for at least the past uh, six or seven years. Uh, when he first came into office, he tended to be supportive uh, of the school, but along the way he lost his way and has seen fit to become an opponent uh, of our school. One of the things that uh, we have been careful to do over the years, and we are now, we have just recently, as of January 20th of this year, we celebrated the completion of 11 years mm -hmm. of continuous operation. So we are now in our 12th year Congratulations. of operation. Congratulations. Pleased to say, well, thank you. And so for most of those years, uh, this school district and this superintendent have been trying to find ways to justify uh, closing our school down. Uh, we have been successful, obviously, to date, to beat back all such efforts on their part. And by and large, we've done that by making sure that we dot all the I's and cross all the T's and are not guilty of any of the sorts of things that they more typically use as a justification for closing charters down that are run by black people uh, or taking them away if we someone managed to get them in the first place. Mm -hmm. We have not been guilty of any of those sorts of indiscretion, so they've had a difficult time making their case. And even now, uh, the case that the superintendent is attempting to make is a very weak one indeed. Uh, and none of the things that he has had to say or accuse us of are things that the school district itself is not in fact suffering from. For example, he is questioning the financial viability of our school. Uh, and that's interesting because he's questioning the financial viability of our school at the same time that he is complaining uh, because of the severity of cuts in the financing of education in the state of Florida generally and the impact that those cuts have had on his school district here in Palm Beach County in particular. So it's in his case, I guess it's a matter of that the school district is victimized mm -hmm. by budget cuts. When that comes home to our school, it becomes something that somehow or other is our fault, that uh, we don't have adequate amounts of revenue uh, that we should have in order to operate the particular school that we do serving the particular demographic of students that we serve here in Palm Beach County. And it is a demographic of students that uh, the records will show that the school district of Palm Beach County has been egregiously, egregiously mm -hmm. inept uh, in its uh, efforts to effectively educate and develop. In other words, there is no demographic of students in the school district of Palm Beach County who have been more poorly served or more underserved than students of African descent. And those, of course, are the students that we, in particular, uh, at our school, focus in on trying to assist the school district in improving and increasing the services to those students. Invariably, we have uh, had to deal with the most difficult elements, even of that difficult demographic difficult by the district's standards at least. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, we don't get the most academically inclined black students. Uh, we don't get the best behaved black students. 
we get the students who the district has essentially taken a position are incorrigible and are beyond help or beyond redemption. Mm -hmm. And then we are charged with the responsibility, voluntarily I will admit, of trying to help these children turn themselves around by changing their ways and changing their focus on education or on the about the importance of getting an education and being uh, people of character uh, because everything else follows suit from that. Now some people say well what does that have to do with an African-centered education and let me take this opportunity to point that out. First of all, let me explain what is the essential difference between an African-centered education and the Eurocentric or European-centered education that is the uh, hallmark of Western education generally and education in the United States in particular. It starts with the basic concept of two groups of people, two races of people towards life and towards humanity. Uh, for example, Europeans' attitude or belief about human nature is that human nature is innately or naturally evil. That human beings come into the world predisposed to do evil and to do wrong. And that what right-minded people are obliged to do to those evil Incli evilly inclined people is to control them, to contain them, and to remove whatever it is about them that constitutes this negative and, 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 and evil nature of theirs and replace that with something good or something less bad. So from a European standpoint, uh, education should consist of taking the human being as a vessel filled with undesirable elements, empty the vessel, rendering it capable now of being refilled with whatever it is that the right-minded people think would be the best ingredients to be put into the vessel. So the object of European education, based on the presumption that human beings are innately and naturally flawed, that God or the Creator sends them into the world with this basic flaw, fundamental flaw, to take them and remove all of those ingredients that constitutes these flaws and then replace that with whatever it is that these supposedly better human beings feel would be better ingredients or better contents for this human uh, entity, so to speak. By contrast, the African approach to education is to presume that the creator spirit of the universe, being perfect, is incapable of sending its highest achievement, which is what the human is. That's the top of the chain of everything that the creator created. That it would be impossible for that creator, being itself perfect, to send into the world this top of the line creature that itself would be flawed or inconsistent with the nature of its own creator. So Africans start with the premise that not only are human beings not evil and come into the world, do not come into the world predisposed to do evil, but that in fact human beings come into the world with the expectation from their creator that they are to be perfect. And anything that happens to obviate that is something that happens after we get here. Mm -hmm. 